for more fantasy insight. It's time to, yep, you know what that bell means. We get saved by the bell. Here is Stefania Bell giving us the very latest. And we're going to take some questions first and then be selfish and ask our own questions sure, naturally. Sure. Because that's, no. that's how this all goes, right? <laughs> um, okay, week eight in the NFL. And the first question comes from John. And John wants to know, how is Nick Chubb healing? Think he'll play this week. How does that affect Dearness Johnson going forward, who we've now come to know and love? Right, Dearness Johnson, who looked great, right? What mm -hmm. a great story for him. And and when you play like that, you you earn yourself some attention. Like maybe you're going to keep playing. So obviously for Cleveland, Cream Hunt on injury reserve with a calf injury. Nick Chubb had a calf injury, but not as serious as Hunt. Nick Chubb did return to practice, and it sounds like they're optimistic that he'll be available but we won't know for sure until we get a little closer to Sunday. I think Dearness Johnson has earned himself a role, though. And with Kareem Hunt out, remember, this is a team that loves to run the ball. And they had a really nice tandem going with Hunt and Chubb. So I think they'll do the same thing. If Nick Chubb comes back, Dearness Johnson doesn't lose value. Right. I mean, he's not going to be the only guy like right. he was last it's week. Carry, but yeah. he's going to, if you're for fantasy, especially with buys and injuries, Dearness Johnson will still have value in this offense at the very least till Kareem Hunt comes back and we don't know when that's going to be. Okay, so our next question comes from Kelly who wants to know Alex Collins or Rashad Penny in PPR. Is Penny ready to assume a lead role? I might be asking the same thing. I may or may not have Penny in one of my fantasy leagues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, did you see the last yeah. game? <laughs> I it did. Was, it, was, it wasn't great on many counts. And look, Alex Collins struggled as well. But Alex Collins was banged up going into that game. He had a hip injury. Alex Collins, if you watched him since Chris Carson's been on injury reserve, Alex Collins is good. And he's actually showed uh, some of those moves that we saw back when he was in Baltimore, dashing and cutting and sharp. You know, he's river dance. He's got some uh, Irish dance training. But he was banged up, had a glute injury, hip injury going into that game. I was surprised that he was even going to be able to make it out to play. But then they ended up using him late in the game, which tells you what they thought of Penny. Mm -hmm. right. So I think that uh, Rashad Penny in a lead role, no. I mean, I think he's there for insurance. Chris Carson remains out injured. Alex Collins still a little bit beat up. But I, I, I'd look elsewhere if I could. All right, That's what I'm going to do while you ask the next question. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to start yeah, facilitating you trades. Just Don't mind me. Lineup, no, yeah. I'm going to ask a question that will directly affect mine because okay, naturally <laughs> now we've gotten to the selfish part of the show. And so, Stefania, my question is, Cardinals play the Green Bay Packers tonight in Arizona. And, of course, the Packers are dealing with some COVID-19 issues. No Devontae Adams, no Alan Lazard. And so if you have to plug in a wide receiver from this crew, who would you do that with? Well, it's interesting because Marquez Valdez-Scantling has been out for four weeks, been on injury reserve with a hamstring injury, but there was talk, you know, him returning to practice. He traveled to Arizona. That's what we always want to pay attention to. Like, if they really thought there was no shot, he wouldn't have gone. Uh, so they can activate him at the last minute. So I would be watching and paying attention to see if that happens because he's been a preferred target for Aaron Rodgers when Devontae Adams hasn't played in the past. So Devontae Adams out. Bob Tanyan, tight end. Mm -hmm. You know, we've seen him also. He's a, uh, Aaron Rodgers, a fan of who he can, big Bob Tanyan, as he calls him. And so he's likely to be, you know, to bump up a little bit. He has some boomer bust games. But I think Marquez Valdez-Scantley, maybe Equinemius St. Brown, mm -hmm. but probably low level uh, in terms of pass catching points from him. But they may have to spread around. We even talked about Amari Rodgers, you know, somebody that has some promise in that group. Aaron Rodgers can spread the ball around, but I think his running backs who can catch passes, Aaron Jones, like he'll probably have a bump up in his game. But MVS is the one I'd be looking for. Um, when he has played, he's typically found the end zone. Good to know because he is available in my fantasy league. Oh, well, there Just you saying. go. Hopefully no one's <laughs> listening to that right now because I'm about to go pick him up. Her name is Stefania Bell, giving us the latest here on Saved by the Bell and Sports Nation. Thank you, Stefania. Thank Thanks, you. Fun. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.